My favorite is that you said that I'm pretty sure it's Oh, well, they do want to end All right, now uh, now that we got that out of the way, literally and figuratively. I'm amazed at how many people in this country do not understand our own political system. I worked at a polling station once and I, I was just amazed how many people were showing up to vote had no idea how the voting process worked. So, just uh, for clarification, just to get everybody caught up, I'm going to explain the process by which we elect an American president. First, we have the primaries. Now, the specifics can vary from state to state, but broadly, this is how it works. Democrats choose a Democrat candidate, Republicans choose a Republican candidate, everybody else can go fuck themselves. Democrat, Democrat primary works like this. We give you a choice. You can either have free candy, or I can punch you in the face. And then the voters say, we would like free candy. And then the party says, well, you voted for free candy, but I'm a superdelegate, and I say you voted to get Punch in the Face. So Punch in the Face is the Democratic nominee. Then there is the Republican primary. No superdelegates in the Republicans. So this is a fair election. Here are your choices. You can get kicked in the balls, or you can get kicked in the balls. Those choices sound very similar, but that's because the Republicans have a purity test and a prohibitively high entrance fee, so that all the candidates are exactly the same. And then the voters say, well, between a kick in the balls and a kick in the balls, I guess I have to choose a kick in the balls. Kick in the balls wins. I guess Republicans like that sort of thing. And now it's time for the general election. Here are your choices. You can either get punched in the face, or you can get kicked in the balls. Both those options suck. Well, then I guess you don't care about democracy. Could I vote for a third party? No, because we gerrymander the fuck out of the district so that the third parties cannot possibly win. Fine. I guess, uh... I guess between the two choices, uh, getting punched in the face would probably hurt slightly less, so I'm gonna choose to get punched in the face. And that's when the government says punch in the face is the winner of the popular vote and the electoral vote goes to a kick in the balls. Congratulations, America. You have participated in democracy and you have decided that you like getting kicked in the balls. Oh yeah, I heard that's what I'm moving And that is how our democratic system works. Democracy. I want you to imagine, just for a moment, just for a moment, that you've never heard of a government of any kind, okay? Hunter-gatherers, you've been living out in the woods by yourselves, you've never heard of a government. And I'm going to pitch the idea to you right now, as if you've never heard it before. And I want you to pay attention and see if you could spot the exact moment when this goes from a really, really good idea to a really, really bad idea. Okay, gather around, people. Here's my new idea. We're going to establish a government. We're going to have a thing called a state. We're going to have borders, and within those borders, we're going to have laws to protect people's freedom so that you can't murder people or rob people. And we're going to have policemen who will come around and enforce those laws, and we're going to have prisons and courts so everybody gets a fair trial. And we're going to provide certain services for you. We're going to provide schools so your children can learn. We're going to provide roads so that you can drive. And we're going to make sure that the people deciding how these things are distributed are chosen by you, the people, based on popular vote. And to pay for it, we're going to have taxes. We're going to take a little bit of money from people who own property, a little bit of money from people who import products, a little bit from people who own businesses, and you might not like this, but a little bit from income, very little, a very small amount, you won't even know it's gone. 
and we're going to call it the state. And then on top of that, we're going to have a thing called the federal government, which is going to take a huge chunk of your money and spend it on nuclear bombs, tanks, missiles, and giving money, free money to bankers, and just... And, and we're going to have a guy in charge that can do whatever the fuck he wants under executive privilege, and he is not voted for you, he's voted by a bunch of rich assholes who you've never heard of, and he can do whatever the fuck he wants whenever he wants. What do you think? I think it started out as a good idea. And then it took a weird turn. I think you should have stopped at the state. People say Americans are patriotic. No, you're not. Americans do not love America. Americans love flags. That's not the same thing. Loving a flag is not the same as loving a country. I'm going to prove it. Exhibit A. How many national holidays do we celebrate? Think about it. What do we celebrate? We celebrate Halloween. We celebrate Easter. We celebrate St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. None of those are federal holidays. We do not celebrate Flag Day, Patriot Day, Columbus Day, Armed Forces Day. Nobody gives a fuck about the actual federal holidays. The only three federally recognized holidays we celebrate are Christmas, which is really international, Thanksgiving, and the 4th of July, and that's just because we like to overeat and blow shit up. But we don't celebrate our national holidays. Not really. We celebrate the ones that we like. Exhibit B. How many people actually root for our country in sports? Ah, think about it. When was the last time you watched the Olympics? When was the last time you watched international soccer? We don't want to root for the United States. We want to root for our city. We want to watch our city beat the shit out of another American city. That's what we like. That's why we like football, baseball, basketball, even hockey a little bit. But we're not watching soccer. They have, they have basketball and baseball in the Olympics and we don't even watch them. So don't tell me it's just not just that we like one sport better than another. We do not want to root for our country. We don't like our country. We pretend to like our country because we're told that we're bad people if we don't. Everybody has to pretend because we're afraid we're going to offend the guy next to us. But the guy next to us is thinking the same thing. If we all just admit at the same time we don't like this country, we like our states, we like our cities, we don't like the nation. We all just admit it once, get it out in the open, say, you know, fuck this nation. Let's just be states. Stop there. We can finally be honest with ourselves. At least that's just my opinion. And my opinion is always right. Thank you, that's all I got for you tonight.